Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton and I am the author of Staying Healthy in the Fast Lane. And as you can see, I'm in a room, if we look around, that is a home gym. This is one of my buddies, has a home gym, a universal machine. Uh, it's got a leg machine right down here, got a heavy bag, got a treadmill. It doesn't matter how you do it, but exercise needs to be incorporated into your daily life. If we study the healthy aging cultures from around the world, there's one thing that is so consistent. They move, and they move six to eight hours a day. Now the problem for us in the West is that's part of their daily routine of survival. For us, we have to artificially insert exercise into our day. Um, there's a few of us that might have a lifestyle where they work on a farm all their life or something like that and do very vigorous labor. But for most of us, we have to interject it. So my buddy in his home, because he liked this situation, he, he, he sets it up with, there should be three phases to your exercise program. There should be an aerobics phase. So there's a treadmill here. Aerobics means just moving the big muscles. So that can be walking, bicycling, uh, hiking. I dance a lot. It doesn't matter. So moving the big muscles, and that should be every single day. The second part should be strength training of some sort. Now, he happens to have a universal gym here. That's fine. What I like people to do is do as many different exercises as they can, upper and lower body, to keep balance, okay? Now, I know that there's really hardcore exercisers that have these specific ways of doing things, but for the average person, you wanna do strength training, upper and lower bodies. I like circuit training, which means you go from station to station, 10 to 15 repetitions of whatever exercise it is, and I do at least six arms and six legs. That takes me 15 minutes, because that's what I do, about three or four days a week. So you should have a strength training phase. The, the third part, which is probably the hardest for me, is a flexibility phase. The third part of the triad exercise program. So we can go over here, and in this place, there's a place where you can stretch. You have a, a bar here where you can do stretching. Now, truthfully, um, you can do high school stretching, you can do Pilates, you can do yoga. The key is some kind of flexibility work along with strength training, along with aerobic, is what, how we evolved. We were cross trainers. So we have to incorporate that into our lives. Now, you could say, well, the modern lifestyle is bad because it makes us sedentary. Well, the flip side is we have the opportunity to go to places, pay for a gym membership, and go do those things. That's what I do. I have a gym membership to a local fitness place where I go anywhere in the country. Just put my finger on a little pad and I can go in there and exercise. That is key to health. Remember, I have three phases in my book. There is a mind-body phase, which is the third phase. There's an exercise phase, which is what I just talked about, three phases to that. Aerobic, strength training, and flexibility training. And then there's a diet phase, which is the first part. Eat 100% unprocessed food, 90% plant food, um, eat half your plate as vegetables, and I forgot the last part. <laughs> eliminate dairy products or eat off the basic elimination of diet. I had a little brain fart here. <laughs> I'm getting a little old. So anyway, this is about exercise, but you have to have exercise in, in your day, every day, not three times a week, every single freaking day, okay? Staying healthy in the fast lane. You can get this book off my website, prescription2000.com. There's a 40% discount code. You can get it at amazon.com. Um, you can get it at Barnes & Noble too. They have to order it for you. So until next time, stay and be well.